In July, I released part one of the Men in Nutrition video series, and I received lots of great feedback. I finally got around to making part two of this video where we will focus on why we need more men in this profession. For the fourth question in the series, each individual will have their own video where they can tell you about a tip to improve the health of men in your life. Those will be released early in 2022. A big thank you to the 20 great guys who stepped up and participated in this video series. I appreciate all of their efforts and please show some love to them by sharing and liking the content. Let's get into it now. Do we need more men in nutrition? Achieving gender diversity in nutrition can be a step forward in the progress of our nation's health and well-being, affirming that in healthcare and everywhere else, diversity is a driver of quality. If any population group is underrepresented in any profession, you won't get the best possible job candidates to choose from, so you won't be able to hire or promote the best talent. Ensuring the largest possible talent pool is essential to quality. The fact that 5% of dietitians are male indicates that there are many potentially excellent dietitians who are not entering the profession. With consumer demand for healthcare services projected to far outweigh the supply of dietitians, there are other important reasons why the profession needs to increase the number of male dietitians. An influx of male applicants could help create pressure to expand dietetic internship programs. And if our profession becomes more diverse, it could become a greater force for social and public policy change, including greater investment in educating more dietitians. Though genders share many physical and behavioral conditions, they also experience gender-specific diseases, injuries, symptoms, and health determinants. And the gender of practitioners makes a difference in diagnosis and treatment. Care quality is dependent on the relationship between practitioner and patient, Practitioner characteristics that match patient populations could be key to more effective treatment and successful outcomes. Increasing the number of male dietitians has the potential un to unravel many myths about the field of nutrition and dietetics. But more importantly, society needs more male dietitians, along with other increases in diversity in the profession, so that it will mirror the patient populations and potentially improve the quality of care and outcomes. According to an old survey published in the magazine Today's Dietitian in 2014, men make up approximately 5% of the dietetics profession. We definitely need more men in the field of dietetics. We definitely are a minority. But if you think about healthcare services, ser healthcare services provided to the male and female population, men don't seek out healthcare services as much compared to women. They may be embarrassed seeking out help, say for depression, due to maybe being viewed as feminine, or the fact that, you know what, you know, I'm a strong person, I should fit that um, societal norm, I don't need to go to the doctor for anything. Um, but as a male dietitian myself, a lot of my male clients have said to me that they feel more comfortable um, talking to me, a male dietitian, over a female dietitian because of the feeling of being embarrassed or the fact that they may not be understood as well if they're not talking to a male dietitian. As far as why do we need more men in the dietetics profession, I think the question's more broadly about diversity in general. So. Uh, as many people know, men represent a very small percent of dietitians, um, but with respect to diversity in general, um, we represent, as dietitians, we see patients from all over the world. We represent the entire populace. Um, our goal is to improve health no matter who the person is. Um, and in doing so, we need representation of every group that we are trying to work with. Um, everyone seeks a different person for trust and for health issues. Um, and we need representation from all those communities. So I think as we see more men in the profession, we'll see more representation um, in other categories, um, just as fast, if not, if not faster. Um, I think it would be an incredible uh, improvement to our profession if we were to have more men because currently right now it is predominantly white and predominantly female. So uh, really having more men, particularly BIPOC or black indigenous uh, people of color would be an incredible way to diversify dietetics and make it more representative of the communities in which we serve. So why do I feel that there should be more men in the profession of nutrition and dietetics or food and dietetics? Uh, interestingly enough, when I became a dietitian back in the early 
a mid 1980s blade. Been around for a while. Uh, uh, I was not aware that dietitians were primarily female. No, no idea. Uh, as I mentioned, I worked in the natural food industry and I just had an interest in nutrition, saw a lot of people in that industry, a lot of men in it, uh, that were talking about nutrition, though they had perhaps no right to talk about it because they weren't credentialed. Um, anyhow, long story short, I literally showed up for the first day of school, University of Illinois in Chicago, in their dietetics program, and uh, was somewhat bewildered to find that I was the only male in the program. Me and 16 women uh, made up that graduating class. Um, so, I, I obviously, as the direction of our profession is about more inclusivity and diversity, uh, which is a great thing, uh, that's got to be beyond just ethnicity, but it's also got to represent gender, the list goes on. So, it's a good thing to have our profession be a mirror of the public that we serve, right? So, um, more the better, more diverse the better. Our profession will only grow and become better and more relevant as we look at our competition, uh, who is out there more than happy to answer the call. I think it would be beneficial to have more men in the profession of nutrition and dietetics for a variety of reasons. And some, uh, some of those reasons might even be unsettling. And what I mean by unsettling it, and in the past and in the current present, we know that there is unfair business uh, salary practices across many different professions where often men get paid higher than women. Um, fair or not, unfair, uh, we should be paid equal. Um, perhaps having more men join the nutrition world may help raise overall salaries of what I feel is an underappreciated science and art. So I think it would be better to have more males in the profession just so we can expand the audience that we are trying to send our message across to. You know, I think there are, is a lot of stubborn males out there that um, still just don't take nutritional advice well from, from a woman. And, um, you know, that's no slight against women. I know a lot of great female dietitians that um, probably are a lot better than me. Um, but that'll come back to me and tell me, hey, can you go follow up with this patient just because I wasn't able to get across everything that I needed to in the right way. This patient was rude, this patient was nasty, and, you know, I just need you to kind of follow up. And, um, you know, I'll follow up with these patients and we'll have the best conversation and we'll get so much more out of it um, and really able to to get farther and, and, and push the message across. So, you know, I think this is just something that has been an ongoing battle and uh, probably won't end soon, but um, unfortunately, some males just may take nutritional advice better from another, another male. One thing about having more men in the profession of nutrition and dietetics that might be interesting to think about is it could perhaps give patients and clients more options when it comes to who they'd like to kind of go and see uh, for their nutrition counseling. You know, why do we need more men in dietetics? Uh, I think like any area of diversity, it's important to give people choices, especially in healthcare and, and providing um, information for people about, about nutrition. It's important to give them a choice of whether it's a man or a woman or, or whatever the diversity category is you're talking about and we need to provide that opportunity for people and if there's uh, only uh, you know one type of person to provide information and no choices it, it kind of reduces the maybe the amount of um, comfortable feelings that a person might have about seeking seeking health care advice from somebody so I think it's just a matter of giving a, a give people choices so um, that's it's an important part of it. So you know, I think we've we're only maybe uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of five percent men in nutrition and dietetics, and I think it's important to to get that number up higher to give people the opportunity to talk to somebody who maybe looks like more like them or they feel comfortable with. And that has to do with nutrition. And you know, I think oftentimes a person um, is seeking somebody that does give them uh, you know, some comfortable nature and it doesn't always have to be the same exact same type of person but uh, you know if there's more men it does give 
more choices for men to choose a man to talk to about nutrition dietetics or nutrition and what sorts of foods are appropriate for eating and to deal with whatever issues they're, they're having related to food intake and nutrition. So thanks for putting this together, Angel, and uh, hopefully this will be a good piece of information for people to consider. It will be beneficial to have more men in the profession because right now there are extremely talented and passionate men that just aren't considering dietetics as their profession. And we want those talented people that are a great fit and have passion about nutrition and dietetics to be here with us. So to answer the third question about why we need more men in dietetics, I think just in just to get a better um, representation of all of us, right? I mean, we're all talking about the important, the important aspect of all different cultures, religions, people from different places. And the more we know about different foods and different cultures, um, we can apply it to help patients that are different from me or someone else. I, I'm a non-traditional student. I came into dietetics later in my life, but um, you know, I used in my experience from the past and, and I've been an outpatient dietitian. I've done counseling. I've worked with athletes, been an obesity clinic. Um, it all helps out it, all resources that I used because we're just trying to help people. Um, I enjoy helping people and learning about food and cooking and just in general. I believe that um, more men should be involved in the profession because diversity is important. Uh, we should mimic the population we are serving as far as diversity. It doesn't matter if it's gender or age or culture or religion, ethnicity. Uh, we have to have representation from diverse groups in order to serve the populations we need to serve. We are becoming a more deserve diverse country um, and a more diverse world uh, and better connected and we need to be able to have the viewpoints of of all the populations we serve in order to be the best organization we can be why would it be beneficial to have more men in the profession well our field is very different um, in the field of dietetics it, it's kind of reverse in dietetics more diversity in this case means more men and the academy needs more representation from men but even more importantly Consumers need to see that men can be RDs ends too. I think it would be beneficial to have more men in healthcare in general, not specifically just dietetics, but namely because research and history both have shown us that men do not often culturally do not uh, prioritize their health or healthcare needs the way that women do. And sometimes it can be rooted in a number of different things. In the research, there's talk about provider bias. Um, there's also talk around fear. There's also language that speaks towards anxiety and a whole host of other things. So I think just in general, dietetics being a part of that, but in the healthcare realm and, and, and as a whole, having more men um, in those areas or in those specific disciplines can help to create an atmosphere where men are more comfortable with talking about their concerns. So their questions are heard, their concerns are valid. Um, the treatment modalities are more thorough and or, or rooted in um, sort of evidence and different things like that, that help to really just create just an overall better experience, a better healthcare experience altogether. Not specific to one thing, but I will say that as a man, sometimes you do want to see or hear from People that look like you and when I say people that look like you it doesn't necessarily always mean by race sometimes it can be just by gender um, if not by gender then by sexual orientation but just something that just makes for a more comfortable experience altogether and so having more men in dietetics would definitely create an atmosphere that's more welcoming that's more inviting that's more inclusive um, and that's not necessarily always skewed or biased towards some of the things that men want to talk about when it comes to nutrition. I think one reason to have more men in dietetics, why that would be beneficial, is to just have increased the diversity in our profession in every aspect. Uh, and there may be some male clients and patients that might be more comfortable talking about certain things with a male practitioner. Having more men within nutrition and dietetics means more people at the table. 
And when we have more people at the table, we bring more diverse perspectives, backgrounds, and life experiences. And this helps us better meet those that we serve and meet them where they are with their health and wellness goals. Men in the field of dietetics, such a rare, rare finding, but such an important one at the same time. I think when we think about the populations that we serve out in the community, um, they're diverse. They're diverse in culture and ethnicity and in gender. Um, and, and we need to, as a profession, we need to be able to reflect those differences and, and um, also be, um, I like to think that if I can't reflect the population that I'm serving, I am, I'm doing the population a disservice because when you find somebody, whether it's a healthcare provider or someone who you're you know, getting health information from, or nutrition advice, I think that it's hard to you know relate in some ways when you don't necessarily have a, a commonality. Um, but when you find somebody that you can relate to and has similar lived experiences, you feel a little more comfortable with being in their presence. You feel a little more comfortable accepting information from them. And so I feel like it's so important and essential for us to continue to be the faces uh, in nutrition and also to um, make sure that we reach out to prospective, uh, pr prospective students and let them know that men in nutrition is, is normal. Men in nutrition is, is valuable and it can be such a fulfilling and amazing career. No matter what society, organization, or profession, diversity can bring us amazing benefits. For example, it can inspire creativity and drive innovations it can provide insights for improvements. It can attract talents and enhance reputations. Since the majority of our profession is women, it would definitely be more beneficial to bring more men into it. And I'm so happy that I'm one of them here talking to you. It would be beneficial to have more men in the dietetics profession because most of the time when men reach out, they reach out to someone who is a fitness professional, not a true nutrition professional. So they're not getting the best guidance nor medical advice. They're reaching out to someone who's had a six pack, but they probably have disordered eating. They probably got their nutrition from someone else who's not an expert, who got it from someone else who's not an expert. So it's doing something that worked for someone, not something that has worked for them. And the thing is, as a male, I know it's tough to reach out and ask for help. But when I started my business, I reached out to someone to help me. So when it comes to nutrition, we should be reaching out to each other to help each other because it is tough for us to reach out. And when we do reach out, we need someone who's a professional and knows what they're doing not just someone that has a six pack. You know, one of the, the big benefits to having more men in the profession of dietetics would be just simply raising awareness to all the issues that men face in regards to you know diet and diet related diseases. I think having more men in dietetics could really be beneficial to the profession so that we improve diversity within our profession. Certainly men are not better at providing medical nutrition therapy uh, than women are, however, it's great to really be able to balance out that dynamic in our field so that we have as many perspective, as many different points of view as possible. And some people might just feel more comfortable going to a male dietitian for their help as some people feel more comfortable coming to a female dietitian for help. And that's okay. Everyone along the gender spectrum should be in the, in the dietetics field because everyone in the gender spectrum needs nutritional help. Thank you for watching part two of the Men in Nutrition video series. As mentioned earlier, I plan on releasing each person's video separately where you can hear them answer the four questions. You can watch part one of the Men in Nutrition video or the cultural foods for the AAPI community. My plan for 2022 is to release more content, so leave a comment on what video you would like to see. Thank you for watching again, and may you have a happy and healthful 2022. Bye.